Psalms 48, a song and song for the sons of Korah. This one, we've read about the king. Now we're looking at the king and his kingdom. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. And I read some commentaries about this, and they run right to the Christian. Well, okay, maybe you're looking at New Jerusalem. In the mountain of his holiness. That could be heaven. But primarily it's to Jerusalem. Beautiful for situation, the placement of this city, for joy the whole earth. Well, that's definitely not New Jerusalem, because if it's New Jerusalem, it would be seen for the whole new earth. Because when New Jerusalem comes, we got a new earth and new heaven. It's Mount Zion. That's Jerusalem. On the sides of the north, and that could be a reference to heaven. Heaven's like into a mountain. The city of the great king, capital K, and guess who that is? That's Jesus. Where is Jesus going to be king? Pilate said, king of the Jews. Jerusalem. Gabriel said to Mary, you're going to have a son who's going to take David's throne. Where's David's throne? New heavens? Well, later. New Jerusalem? No. No. These people are trying to steal the promises of the Jew, and then they rank on, you know, the Catholics, and they rank on these people who steal the promise, and then you do it too. The great king's throne isn't going to be in Jerusalem after the second advent. Now, maybe you can spiritualize it, but doctrinally, doctrinally, people don't realize Jesus is never the king of the church. Never. I know our hymns say, oh, the great king. No, he's not. It's a lie. He is our groom, he is our savior, he is our Lord, he is our God. Never is he king. He's king of the Jews. And then when the millennium, he's king of kings, we're given the right to reign, then he would be the king of all of our kingship. God is known in the palaces of refuge. Would that be a, a reference to the refuge cities? For the man that slays another man unawares? For a place where the where the Jewish people run from the Antichrist? Where God has prepared a place for them? That palace, is, what is it? If it is true that Salem of Petra is that city. Have you seen Salem of Petra in, this, in the carvings of, those, of that city? They're palaces. That is wonderful. For lo, the kings, small k, were assembled, and they passed by together. They saw it. Jerusalem. And so they marveled. Be a marvel when we come into the millennium, we got where the earth has the curse removed off her, except for the serpent. They were troubled. You will, mankind in the millennium will be before God that was manifest in the flesh, the Jewish Messiah, Jesus Christ. You ain't going to do the things that you're doing today in the world. You're not going to persecute Christians in the millennium. And the law is a millennium, so you're going to be like, I better make sure I do right, because there's Jesus. Man, I don't want to be judged by him. Listen, I could go into a man's law court, and I could have fooled that judge and got away, but I ain't going to fool that one sitting on the throne of David and hasted away. They got out of it, you know. They're going to fear Jesus Christ one day. They don't today. Fear took hold upon them, the kings, 
there and pain. As of a woman in travail, that's a woman's going to give birth to a baby. And that woman in travail, that is most likely frequent in the Bible. In most cases, it has a, a reference to the tribulation period and the coming of Jesus Christ. The great pain, if you read Revelation, of the great pain that the world's going to have. And that woman of travail, Revelation chapter 12, when she's going to give forth that male child, that is Israel. It's going to be no tea party for the Jews in the, in the tribulation period. Thou breakest the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. You find that Ezekiel 27, 26. God controls the weather. Tarshish is the same place that, that uh, Jonah was heading to. I believe that's where Paul was from too. Saul of Tarshish. As we have heard, okay, we heard something. So have we seen. We have seen something. In the city of the Lord of hopes, God, hosts of all the hosts, all the angels, there, all those that are there. In the city of our God. God, Jewish, our God, the city. Where God says, I will put my name, and there will I put my name, that's Jerusalem. God will establish it forever. Selah, again, told you that's a musical rest. That's also a... A uh, reference to the second advent. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. Temples in the millennium. It's in Jerusalem. Also a temple in heaven. John says, I've seen the temple open and there was the ark. You can't lay this completely down, you know, this could be both Jerusalem on the earth and New Jerusalem. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise on the ends of the earth. There is no earth in New Jerusalem. The new earth. And when you look at Jerusalem here on planet earth, it goes out. <laughs> Thy right hand, again, Jesus sits on the right hand of God, is full of righteousness. Well, there's the righteousness. He was made sin for us who, who knew no sin, that the righteousness of God may be in him. The only righteousness I have is the righteousness of God. That's it. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Drew, Judah be glad because of thy judgments. And you get people coming to you, judge not, we should be judged. Man, they're going to be happy when God judges. God's going to say, hey, Israel, have you done what you're supposed to? Have you brought the offerings you were supposed to? Yes, Lord, we, we went right to the, and they, the priests did what they were supposed to do. All right, here comes your crops. Here comes the fruit of your womb. Here comes the joy. Here comes the everlasting. The judgments are good because you've done good. Walk about Zion and, say, well, and go about her. Tell the towers there are, where are there towers in New Jerusalem? Oh, oh. but to add some towers in there, like you know, we say the streets of New Jerusalem, though the Bible says street of New Jerusalem. I mean, like you know, the Sodomites have stolen the rainbow, but the Bible doesn't say rainbow, it says bow. <laughs> I don't like him. He makes fun of what we say. Makes fun of what we believe. He, he throws the Bible at us. It hurts. Oh well. Obey God. Make, uh, excuse me, mark ye well her bullet. Of the walls. Structures of the wall. Now the Bible says that New Jerusalem has a wall. It has gates that are always open. Consider her palaces. Oh. 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 Don't you change John 14. Because it says a mansion. 
You know, perverted Bible say man it doesn't say mansion. And a mansion is not a palace. A mansion is a mansion. That you may tell it to generations following. We just read that in the law. You to tell your sons, your sons to tell their sons, and their sons to tell their sons, and their sons, and their sons. For this God, there's other gods out there, is our God. Now, remember, we looked at the kings and look at it. This is a God of all the people. The Gentile kings and the, the kings of the Christians, you know, we shall reign. And the, the Jewish people, the, the temple, the Gentiles, the whole world is given to God, this God. We just threw out that God, the Antichrist. We just, he just changed Satan, who is a God. And this God here, that God right there, see him right on the throne? That God is our God forever and ever. The will be our guide, God's will be our guide, even unto death. Uh, is there death in New Jerusalem? No more pain, no more sorrow shall wipe away our tears. And no D-E-A-T-H. That's not New Jerusalem. People will die in the millennium. They don't die in New Jerusalem. Even unto death. Didn't say it's going to stop that. It will be our guide even unto death. In the millennium, there's death. You live to a ripe old age, but there's death. 